Hey everyone, and welcome to the VHS Tapes Podcast, where we discuss anything from films to games, and occasionally really weird shit. I'm your host for this episode, Lord Heroicus, and I'm joined by my two co-hosts, Venom and Six Foot. I'm Six Foot, Piss Radius. And I'm Venom Jewbear. And to, as the intro said, to, we are s- discussing the new Suicide Squad movie that just came out. Yeah. yeah. It's a little strange that they just called it The Suicide Squad. I, I yeah. guess it's kind of like a soft reboot of the of the movie. Yeah. I, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Is, go ahead, yeah, Venom. Oh, no, that was it. Oh. Great oh, start, oh. but yeah. Is it is it basically just them like trying to distance themselves from the the disaster that was the first one, or was it? That's pretty much what it was. Yeah, it's like they're not saying yeah. the first one's not canon, but they're also kind of just like, yeah, let's let's forget about the one that wasn't that great. I mm-hmm. guess I'm in the minority. I kind of like I, I acknowledge the first one's bad, but I still it's a guilty pleasure to me. So I just have some fun with it. But I yeah. Yet. It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like so bad that it's, or I don't know if it's so bad that it's good, but it's like, it has cool moments. Yeah. But I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just, you know, the movie's uh, quality would, you know, this is not, I don't want to shit on Jared Leto by in any way, but the, the, that interpretation of the Joker wasn't that good. It could have been better. I mean, in in um, the Snyder cut, like the little bit we saw of him was like vastly better. So, I think it was just studio interference fucking it up. Probably, who knows? Anyway, let's 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 focus on the new movie instead of bitching about the old. Um, I mean, I like that it was given, or at least, well, obviously James Gunn being the director, it was kind of given the Guardians of the Galaxy treatment. Yeah, it did kind of like come across like that a little bit. I, you could put like, um, you could easily see the the resemblance of uh, King Shark. Uh, how, how the fuck his name? Nanawe is his little, is like yeah. his real name. I think so. Mm-hmm. And, like he's kind of pretty similar to Groot. You know, they both they don't say much. He certainly talks more than Groot does, but you know, his basically thing is hand. Or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck, he just Nom he says like one word. He speaks, yeah. Like, yeah, he speaks like a toddler or something. Pretty much, um, but yeah, I found it like um, I was pretty shocked. Like in the in the intro, it's like fucking everybody died almost, except like mm-hmm. the only survivors were um, it was just Harley. That guy with the spear survived a little bit, but like he he was like. Once I really got the spear from him, like he, he died. Spear mm-hmm. or trident, whatever the fuck. Um, it, it was. I was. Out that, uh, well, did you stick around for the. Like, there were a couple of. Uh, yeah, there was some post credit shit. Uh, yeah, there was one. Um, and fucking it's just, weasel. <laughs> fucking weasel. What the. F- Please, why? They're gonna just. They're gonna bring him back in the sequel if they make one. I swear to God. Why? I love oh, Weasel fuck. and the story they gave him, how he, like, killed, like, 27 children. Ah, uh, yes. You you can relate, because you have done this yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lo- I call that I'm, a Tuesday. I'm looking at that character, I'm like, that is such a Venom Jewbear creature. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was literally my first reaction. I'm so glad he survived. <laughs> um, Honestly, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed that movie so much. I was really excited for it because um, I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, but I saw James Gunn do the live-action Scooby-Doo movies, and those whoa. are a whoa, whoa. horrible masterpiece. Wait, hold up. Hold those? up. Back, back up. You have not seen Guardians of the Galaxy? I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy. I know. Okay, you have what? access to my Disney+. Plus. Get watching on that shit. <laughs> Okay, tonight I'm gonna watch Guardians of the Galaxy and then the original Suicide Squad. Do it. Yeah, you're you're mm-hmm. gonna have to you're gonna have to like get high or something before watching the original Suicide Squad. Oh, but yeah, dude, like, I, um, <laughs> I would recommend 
Like, watch Suicide Squad first so you get the bad shit out of the way, and then go watch Guardians mm-hmm. and Guardians 2, if you haven't seen Guardians 2 already. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Um, I do have to say right off that I definitely prefer... Um, like Harley's outfit at the beginning was vastly better than the garbage outfit she had in Suicide Squad, like the first one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like it, it looked very similar to the Injustice Two base uh, outfit she has. So I like that. So that was pretty nice. I was also really surprised. Like, I mean, we were. It's obvious in the title of the Suicide Squad, everyone's gonna fucking die. But like. Mm-hmm. I, I was surprised to see like the one other guy that made it in from the previous movie, um, Captain Boomerang was his name. Yeah. Like he yeah. just fucking gets annihilated right out of the gate. I'm just like, I was actually expecting him to like do something in this, but I guess yeah, I didn't really pay attention to the trailers. Like they would show footage, and, like you wouldn't see any of these characters anywhere else. So it's like, yeah, I guess I missed that. I only watched the trailers like one time, anyways. So, um, but yeah, I was like, I kind of like this character. He's kind of funny, kind of an asshole, but mm-hmm. yeah, annihilated right out. But whatever. Subverting your expectation, Brian yes. Johnson style. Um, it's like everyone else on the beach was done thinking like, shoot, is Harley gonna die? But at the same time, nah, they're gonna they're not gonna kill off their biggest cash cow at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Harley looks great in the movie. She's hilarious. Yeah. My appreciation of Harley Quinn has increased over time cuz when I before I knew much about her I was like oh she's just Joker too but she has more what we call crackhead energy than Joker does. Exactly. I mean hell that was a line in the uh the first one it, it, it became a meme it's like uh she was fearless and crazier than him. So mm-hmm. yeah, she she literally is. She's a fucking crackhead. He just wants mm-hmm. to kill people, is all. She wants to kill people with style, I guess. Exactly. Um, but yeah, she was fun. Um, I can't speak for hardly any of the other ones that just got annihilated right out of the gate. I kind of feel bad for um, for what... I don't remember what the guy's name was. The guy at the very beginning who, like... I don't know what his thing is. Like, he, he was able to throw a ball and it like bounced off of things oh, perfectly. Not. Huh? Savant or something. Okay, Savant. And, like, he just, like, he looks over at all the carnage happening, and he's just like, fuck this, I'm out, and dies. I'm like, <laughs> damn. And it's the same guy who plays um, Yondu the guy and the Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. He's like, damn, he didn't mm-hmm. even make it through his first movie this time. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, oh, he also spoiler alert plays... for you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he also plays... Uh... Daryl Dixon's brother in The Walking Dead, Merle. I haven't watched... I watched, like, the first handful of episodes of The Walking Dead back when it came out, and I was just like, this shit's boring. Once and it gets like, after the third season, I stopped. I was like, this is, like, the same shit over and over again. And then they just have Norman Reedus stare into the screen with his unwashed face. He's like, Ugh. And people are like, yeah. oh my god, he's so dreamy. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Then it was. Then they like they had the interesting like, I was wondering how the hell that it was even going to continue like after they pretty much killed everyone, right yeah. off. Mm-hmm. I I honestly think Mon Gal should have lasted longer because like, I don't I don't know for sure but like it sounds like a parody of Mongol, which is like that's one of Superman's like biggest enemies, in the comics if I remember, and like he's like. How the hell is she just like she literally just gets shredded by a helicopter or something? I didn't even see her die. She's just hanging on a helicopter, and then the next I see her, she's like shredded. She like she looked like she got shoved in a blender. Mm-hmm. But yeah, then they they switch over to like the second team, and it's like yeah, you got um, Blood Sport, Peacemaker. Um, I think was was Ratcatcher two already? With, yeah, they had to be with him because they were on the they were on that island the whole, the whole movies. So it was the rest of the team. It was, it threw me off a little bit. It was like 
that they, they, like it showed them but then just the way like it went to the next scene and it was showing all them like still in prison and then it showed them on the island so like okay they made it like like they went back in time a little bit to show that like they did that a few yeah, times like, in the movie like you know eight minutes earlier and it's like yeah like when they're at the end with at Jotunheim it's like mm -hmm. what these members of the team are doing and then yeah and then like to show like basically to have them come together yeah. or uh we'll, we'll get to it later uh yeah and i'm just gonna slowly try to be transitioning to like what i remember the next scene being like i think we each only watched it one time so uh when Here's did you a... guys watch it by the way <laughs> what when sorry when did you guys watch the movie like the day it came out or earlier i watched it earlier today <laughs> I watched it the day it came out. Um, I think... Yeah, it was... Well, I mean, technically it came out Thursday, but, like, it wasn't on HBO Max until, like, the actual launch day. It wasn't available for, like, early showings like theaters do. Um, so I watched it on Friday. I probably just came home and watched it. I think... I forget what I worked that day, but whatever. That's not important. Um... Benham, when did you watch it? I watched it two days ago. Two days ago. Um, uh, here's a side thing. Uh, King Shark is uh, voiced by Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Which that is one... just a phenomenal. Similar to how they got Vin Diesel to voice Groot, it's like they literally could have gotten anybody else to play it, but they picked like a well-known actor. Mm-hmm. He, he's got a fucking deal because like literally he just comes in probably just like okay we need you to say I am Groot I am Groot we need you to say it aggressively I am Groot <laughs> say it sadly you know so on they do like so many emotions like alright you're done that's a wrap but, like he and doesn't he have to do paid, anything and he got, probably got paid like up the at like just a shit ton of money for it yeah like damn that, I'd like that <laughs> Um, but yeah, there was one weird thing when I was looking at the cast, it was saying there was two people that voiced, uh, King Shark. So I wonder if it's like someone else did like the grunting or something. Cause like it, I never, the voice never sounded like it wasn't Sylvester. Mm -hmm. So that was strange. Um, yeah, so they had the flashback bit and then it came back and I don't remember exactly what happened. Oh, yeah, I think it was the very next thing was them walking through, and it was the the dicks on a beach line. I think yeah. that's when that was. That was fucking funny. I mean, that was, was in the trailer, but yeah. Just, I, I don't know, I just enjoyed the, almost like the rival, definitely the rivalry between Bloodsport and uh, Peacemaker. Oh, yeah. Like, it was yeah. basically a dick measuring contest, especially like later on when they're at the uh, the camp to rescue yeah. Rick Flag. Yeah, where they go through all the insurgents and just murder them. Like in the most absurd ways possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, to our surprise, we find out it's actually the fucking. Like, they're actually all good guys. Yeah. yeah. That was like. That was good. Uh... John Cena's performance in that was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I've i only seen him in, like, one other thing, and that was the uh, the Fred movie. No! I remember that. <laughs> that was the <laughs> first time you've seen him in. Friend, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, yeah. like, if he has a resume, I bet he doesn't even put that on the Fred, it's like the Fred movie. It's like, you were in the Fred movie. I don't like to talk about it. Yeah. Um, Honestly, does anyone even remember that movie? I I've, I've never even seen it. I just know he was in it. That was all. It's a uh, yeah. I, don't, I hardly remember it, but it's it's really what you expect from a Fred movie. I don't know what Nickelodeon was thinking when they decided to make that a whole ass show. Yeah, Nickelodeon. They were definitely on something. It, it, it was probably just them, like, you know, what, what are the kids like? 
but like Annoying at that time people. Fred like at that time Fred was like I mean that shit was popular in like the early days of YouTube, like within the first yeah. few years. At that time it was like 2010, 2011, 2012 even, I think. But anyway, back to Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um I'm at a loss of what really happened next. Cause I, I just well, because then we got like Harley's subplot, which you know connects to the main plot eventually. But it's like her whole thing with since she's the like the, pretty much the sole survivor of Team A. You know she. Uh, what was it like? Was it she got captured by? Oh yeah, yeah. The she, bad guys. It and... happened. It happened off screen, but like she took the spear, she went on. She got captured by them, and then, like, we find her in, like, guy. yeah, we find her in a pit, and, like, um, like, the the leader of, like, the regime there, or whatever the fuck, is just mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, bring her to me. Like, they get her cleaned up and all dolled up and everything, and she's all happy, because she's like, oh, I'm a princess, and it turns out he's just a massive sim for her, or at least, yeah. it, it, at least it was, like, it was a disguise at first. Like he's pretending, like oh, everyone here idolizes you, and it's it's just I, I don't know. It was just some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I just love like she's hanging out with him, and uh, you know, she's practically fucking falling in love with him and shit. And then they, you know, you know, they fuck, and it's all this dreamy, like cartoony shit going on in the background with birds and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it's like he's he's saying something, and she just fucking shoots him because she's like, "Nope, I I had this before with you know Mr. J, and I'm not fucking doing this again." And she yeah, just he fucking keeps talking to him, and he's just like he's bleeding out because she shot him right in the heart. He's just desperately mm -hmm. trying to crawl away from this crazy bitch, but she just won't leave him alone. <laughs> it's fucking funny. And she's like, also, just basically just complimenting his dick as he's dying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the all yeah. the worst thing you can do to a guy. He the uh, last... he was going on about how he if he got Project Star, no one could say anything bad about him and then he went on about like, oh, women and children and then she shot him. Oh, because oh, he's right. like that's a serious red flag. Yeah. Also, it's a, it's an extreme form of gatekeeping. Even I wouldn't mm -hmm. go that far. You, you oh, definitely really? would. You know, I just you know my gatekeeping just consists of telling people pineapple on pizza is bad and South Park is shit and you know things like that. I'm not gonna fucking you know, like kill people because they disagree with me. Not well, yet. I remember you drowned that one guy in that bathtub because he said he disliked Frozen. Well, you know that that was a that was a isolated incident. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So what happened next? Um, so oh yeah, they... all the soldiers came in, and I guess no, she didn't. She didn't kill them all yet. I think she just cat or they just it... captured her again. And oh yeah, they chained yeah. her to the ceiling basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, I think they shocked some... the shit out of her. At some point, they switched back to the rest of the uh, crew. They were ordered to go, like, you know, rescue her. So they're mm -hmm. on the way doing that. They got a whole plan. They're being sneaky and shit. And like, in the meantime, she like she's being like tortured. Like they got like a a taser and they just keep shocking her. She pretends yeah. to like pass out. One guy leaves the room. She fucking strangles the guy with her legs. Which, damn, <laughs> what a way to go. I was gonna say, um, like, that's... If that's how I go out, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't really even be mad, because I'd be a little turned on. Getting right. poked to death by Harley Quinn? Yeah. Not just Harley Hate Quinn, Harley... No, no, not just Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn's thighs crush you to yeah. death. And you're just like, yeah. Could be worse. It'd be a weird, like, method of, uh, what is it, erotic asphyxiation. Yeah. And then, yeah, she does some ballerina shit, like, getting the key. Like, that mm -hmm. was like, how the fuck do you turn your foot to, like, unlock the, 
thing that I, uh, whatever. There's a giant starfish in this movie that you know shoots babies out of its vagina armpits. So uh, I think we can buy this weird little move. Yeah, this this is mm-hmm. this is the DC universe. So yeah, everything the DC EU's continuity is more fucked than the X Men movies. <laughs> and that's saying something. But uh, yeah, she she gets out. She has another whole sequence. She's killing all these guys and like, you know, and what would be like bullets hitting the walls and just blood splattering everywhere. She just sees like flower petals and, you know, little birds flying around and cartoons and shit. It's funny. Like like some sort of Disney princess. Yeah. You know, okay, Herokus, you actually just played the Harley Quinn DLC in Arkham Knight. So I did. Yes. Let me ask you, did you ever go into like the well it's not detective vision it's like harley quinn psychosis vision. mode like or yeah. something like that it's yeah like there's no birds and whatnot but it's same thing it's like there's just like all this shit scribbled on the walls and yeah you know. and i i didn't quite get it like the first time i played it um it started but then like i shut the thing off because i was in the middle of something but if you stay in it long enough Harleen actually comes out as a personality and starts, like, trying to convince Harley to knock it off. And Harley just, like, literally argues with herself. But... Oh. So I gotta... I need to replay that. Basically, you just sit somewhere, turn it on, and just wait, and it's... You know, the dialogue happens. But, yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, back to it. They... You know, she gets out of the building, you know, walks around a bit. She sees, like, they're all just showing up. They start climbing up the building to get in there, and she's just like, uh, what are you doing? And they're like, we're here to rescue you. And she's like, oh, well, I can go back in, you know? She feels all bad, because she fucking did the, the job trailer, for them. Though. Yeah, that was in the trailer. Um, We also skipped the nightclub. Oh, shit, yeah. That was a whole fucking, yeah. Yeah, oh, because the thing is, is they, they uh, the plan was for them to basically get caught so they could, uh... Well, Captain Flag's plan was basically so they could get caught so that the fortress... Yeah, or so whatever they could the get away with, called. uh... They could get away with the, uh... What was his name? The Thinker? Yeah, yeah they could get away with the Thinker and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And then also leave, uh... The, the president's house or whatever unfortified. Yeah. I, what... Yeah, I forget if it was... I forgot if it had a specific name. But whatever. I just, yeah. I just kept looking at the thinkers, like, the, the shit coming out of his head. I'm thinking, like, how does this guy sleep? Like, can those things... Are those things removable, or...? I would assume not, because, like, he uses all that shit to help control the, uh... The, uh, starfish thing. So it's like, you think uh-huh. if he take one out, that it would just cut the link between them? Or mm-hmm. some bullshit. I don't know. Maybe he, uh, maybe he, like, sleeps standing up somehow. He gets into some apparatus that, like, it's like a, a hammock, but vertical. Who knows? Maybe he has a special pillow. I don't know. Yeah. Really, really fucking fluffy pillow that can't, like, it's, I don't know how else to say it, poke proof. So it's like his little, <laughs> you know, things don't, like, pop it or something. He just but has yeah. one of those airplane pillows and sleeps uh, against the wall. But yeah, also yeah. on on shit we missed, um, like the, the little introductions of the team. So you got, obviously we got Bloodsport. He's, um, he's basically. He's essentially uh, this movie's version of Deadshot. Yeah, Deadshot mm-hmm. 2. And then Peacemaker is Deadshot 3. <laughs> They literally, both of them have the same ability, which was kind of funny. Like they, they even joked about that. Like, you said that, you said we all had unique abilities. He and knows what like, I do. <laughs> yeah, and then he's like, but better. <laughs> That's where the it's, dick measuring starts. So it's basically mm-hmm. the two of us. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I'm better. Yeah, um, you know, God damn it. <laughs> um... And then, yeah, Ratcatcher just, like, seemed, like, so, like, I was like, how the hell is she gonna, she's gonna die the fucking second they start this mission. Because, like, she's introduced and she's just, like, asleep and 
doesn't want to get up. Um, and, I like John Cena's comp like millennials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and like her thing is like, oh, she has a, she has this magic little device that like lets her control rats and like, come on, what the fuck is that gonna do? And we'll come back to that towards uh, the end of this thing. Uh, then we got. What was the other one? Oh, Polka Dot Man. I'm also oh, thinking, man. Like, what oh, the yeah. fuck was he gonna do? It's like, he actually turned out to be useful. His Polka Dots apparently can just, like, burn I'm through shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And the other weird thing is, like, every two hours or whatever, like, he has to throw up rainbows so he doesn't die of space space sickness or something. He's, yeah, he's quite the day. Thing. That's fucking weird. Also, it's kind of funny, like how he ev he sees everyone as his mom. Mm -hmm. um, or I think it was just people he hates or something. No, it's no, literally it's everybody. literally everybody. Because hmm. the um, first time they mention it, they do a a pan to the Suicide Squad, and they're all his mother. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking yeah. at them like, wait, what? What the fuck? Why does everybody yeah. look like a Karen all of a sudden? <laughs> Especially King Shark as a fucking Karen. It's like, what the hell? That's like Mrs. That's like how Mrs. Puff would look in live action. Oh my god. Oh. What if there was a live action SpongeBob movie? Well, oh, technically, no. No. technically well, there was with part, like the second one was partially, uh, well, I mean, the characters were still animated, but like they were on land, so it was a live action setting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but like live action costumes, they just paint someone SpongeBob yellow. Don't Spongebob even put a costume musical. on them. Like I the mean, yeah. Thing. But yeah, I, I, I do know of one thing though. Um, you know, everyone knows who Filthy Frank is. There was yeah. that one video he did a uh, porn title rap, and one of the titles was SpongeBob Square Nuts. So there, there's a porn out there of SpongeBob. Probably so, good. Cool. That, that's a thing. So there is a live action SpongeBob if you think about it. Yeah, we'll have to watch that later. Yeah, that'll be episode two. Look forward for that next week. <laughs> next just week, kidding. watch porn with us. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. That, that, yeah, we're not fucking doing that. Oh, really? Yes. Damn. Here uh... I go with my pants down. <laughs> all of you to assume I'm wearing pants. Oh. Um, anyways, let me see what else. So yeah, then they like, you know, they he at least proves himself a little bit useful. Like he can, yeah, literally erase shit from existence. Like, alright. Cool. Um, let me see. So after you know, they did the club thing, they they meet back up with Harley and everything. What happened after that? After they so, meet up with Harley. So it was like the, so Bloodsport, what was it? Bloodsport, Peacemaker, and who was the third guy? It was like they, they got taken away in basically an armored truck. And then uh, they escaped, crashed, and then they met up with everybody else. Like they, sh they showed up in the fucking bus or whatever. Oh, to meet oh them. yeah, when they're, they're captured and they're talking about killing a man in one punch and uh, mm -hmm. Bloodsport gets the cigarette. Yeah. Who's yeah. the third person in the vehicle at that time? Was that Ratcatcher too? Oh, wait, no, it was Rick Flag. That's right. Oh, it was Rick Flag. Uh, okay. I also, yeah. I, I'm going to have to rewatch. This was a little bit later, but they were talking about some other dude that was with them in the van. I forget what his name it's like Marvin or Martin or something. I forget. Milton. Like Mil Milton. Was he even in there? Was that just something they threw in to bullshit no, us? He was there. He, he was, was there. there. They made him wait in the car and everything. Damn. Okay. I don't. Because like I saw him like get out and like he just gets annihilated right away. And I'm like, uh, who the fuck is that? I don't remember seeing this person. Like him. Hardly has the same right? thing. Yeah. Also, Harley I want to. Oh. 
I want to take a break from this for a second. Uh, I don't know why. I can see out my window. There's a light on uh, the neighbor's house across the street. And the, this guy's just been walking back and forth shirtless for like the entire time we've been talking. I'm just like, <laughs> but why? That's me, Maybe don't you know? What would you say, Six? That's me, don't you know? Oh, well, prove it. Come to the window and wave. I, I can't. That's not actually me. Uh, you yeah, should no. you should uh just to communicate with him, take your shirt off and start pacing too. Well, I'm I'm in the dark here, so <laughs> Well you yeah, should just walk up to his driveway and start doing it. Mm. It'll be a showdown. Yeah. Um, let me see. So Milton yeah, that was a little further ahead, but like, uh, there's not much. Like, they arrive at the um, what was it called? Jotunheim. Jotunheim. Yeah. They all they all arrive there. They all meet up. They go in. Um. They split up though. Like, um, it was like King Shark, Harley, Milton, Polka Dot Man. I think there was someone else. They all went to, like, rig bombs up uh, all over the fucking uh, building. And it, yeah, then it was Ratcatcher, uh, fucking... Peacemaker. Uh, Peacemaker and Rick Flag Captain went Flag. to the basement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they went to the basement, and then that's where shit starts hitting the fan. They, uh... Let's see. Well, we hear, we hear something like the bombs went off early, and, you know... They're all like stuck in the basement, like this stuff's collapsing and shit. And that's where uh, it's like they everything starts getting separated. Uh, I know. Um, Flag and Peacemaker just like they they go after they go at it because um, they because of the hard drive. Yeah, because of the hard drive. Um. Yeah, it's like Peacemaker doesn't want it to get out, but Rick Flag's like, you know, people need to know the truth. Yeah, and it's revealed like, that Peacemaker was basically a contingency. Yeah, and he ends up like, yeah, he kills Rick Flag. Uh, Ratcatcher, you know, makes off with the the drive, and then I think it, that's when it splits over to the others, like wrapping yeah. up, like doing the bombs and like all their shit. And Why then would he like, had the gun the rat catcher too? Yeah. It also splits off while during that split off to show King Shark go to like meet all these alien uh squids or something, whatever the fuck they were supposed to be. And he's just yeah. having a good old time with them. And then I love it, like when everything starts blowing up and it starts all collapsing, and like he's surrounded by them and they just start trying to fucking eat him alive. And I thought that's where yeah. he was gonna die. I thought he was getting shredded apart. Then he fucking falls out of the whole thing. Like, shit, it had to be like 30, 40 stories or something. Yeah, I don't know. I thought he, I thought he was going to just explode like, you know, like a fucking yeah. on impact, basically. Just kind of yeah. like how they blow up whales on the beach. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty much like, nah, he, he's got to be dead. Then he just gets up. He literally gets shot at by like all these soldiers and it just like, He's bulletproof, apparently. I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Like, not that I wanted him to alone. die. It's just how. It's he's like he's alone. Just... What do you expect? <laughs> it's what like... did you say? He's alone. What do you expect? Oh yeah, good point. Good point. It's like so. So you're meaning to tell me that these fish that were eating him are stronger than bullets? Is that right? Maybe. Yeah, because like they could, they were literally chewing through him. Also, when he gets up, it's like, yeah, he does have some bite marks, but there's like not as many as it seemed like there would have been. Either that, maybe he heals fast or some bullshit. I don't know. But yeah, then yeah, just then uh, what's his name? The the thinker literally um, Starro starts getting out, grabs Thinker because it's like it's been torturing him all this. He's been torturing it all this time, basically, by controlling it. Just fucking does a fucking Mortal Kombat style fatality on him and just rips him in half. And then just I mean, there's a lot of that, but yeah. 
That was a fatality move. That King was Shark. satisfying. Yeah, King Shark even had a, a moment like that. I don't know if it was a, towards the beginning or towards the end. I'm assuming towards the end, at some point, where he literally rips a soldier like right in half, and like it was in <laughs> slow motion and shit. Like, God, oh, that was cool. Lightning yeah. strike in the background. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was at the end because that yeah. was right after he got shot. He freaked out. Yeah. Like a Heroicus set. A little bit off top, not really, but uh, again with Arkham Knight, you just played the Batgirl DLC. Yeah, I played uh, all of the DLCs, so yeah. There was there was an Easter egg you probably missed, and you'll see I why this. So. You'll hey, keep what? talking. I'm gonna look it Go up. Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't, well, I didn't have anything to say. Trust me, it's relevant. Yeah, I, I probably missed it. Like I was just trying to get through those quick, and just like, yeah, what's this? That's a whole nother topic, is the Arkham games. Individually, so, probably. Let's see. I gotta look at a picture. I'll throw this picture up so you guys can see it. So, that would be a topic. Oh! Actually. That's interesting, yeah. So fucking, literally in that fucking amusement park, it's just that. Fucking damn. That's I cool. guess I guess it got abandoned and he just, Star just fucking dies in that universe, so all good. And yeah, we back to the movie. Oh uh, shit! Now, so yeah, it probably picks up somewhere with like Ratcatcher going after. Uh, well, no, not Ratcatcher going after. Uh, Peacemaker. Peacemaker going after Ratcatcher, and then Bloodsport catches up with them. They have their final little showdown, and Bloodsport literally gets gets uh, the floor crumbles below him and so he goes down like several stories oh yeah that's right then he lands with them that's right that's I, yeah I and that's when they have to show off where uh john cena shoots the big bullet and then blood sport shoots the little uh little bullet through the big bullet and goes straight into john cena's throat that was probably one of the coolest scenes in the whole movie yeah though. oh yeah over the top bullshit, but yeah, it was a callback to earlier when yeah they were talking about something like that. Like it was actually yeah. uh, Peacemaker. Like oh yeah, if, you know if you shoot a bullet at me, I'll shoot a little bullet through your bullet. And then like he pulls that trick on him, and he's just like fuck. <laughs> and you know he's dead until the post credit scene. Yeah. Um, which I is was gonna on... be great. Yeah. With the new one, because they're going to have him as as probably one of the next villains. Yeah. Watch him die in the beginning of the movie. They brought him back just to kill him in the first five minutes of the next one. That would be Oh, that would be such a tease. A complete zero payoff. Yeah. That would be fucking great, though. It would be. And then it's revealed he has a twin brother who does the same thing. <laughs> Oh man, that'd be great. I, I had the movie on with subtitles at one point. Blood, ah, blood sport was like piss maker. Yeah. Thought that was funny. I mean, oh. it still sounded like he said peacemaker, I think he actually but said that. well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He said it, but I only knew that because of the subtitles. Ah. Uh. Like it still sounded like he said peacemaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and yeah, then... Like, at this point, like, finally, Star, like, fully escapes Jotunheim. And as I said earlier, the, the weird armpit vaginas, it just shoots out smaller versions of itself to, like, it basically does, um, uh, it does, it does, like, a face hugger move from Alien on people, and it, like, possesses them. Uh, yeah, they become a bit of a hive mind where Starro can speak through the people. Yeah. And yeah, it just does that. For some reason, though, like, they show it pretty easily. Like, they can just literally just, some of them are just shooting them away, and other ones are literally just batting them away. And, like, not a single other person on this entire fucking island has that idea. No, they just let it happen. So, like, you dumb, it, you dumb fucks. Holy shit. So, yeah, and literally... so, Starro falls through the city, 
and uh, at Bloodsport and Polka Dot Man see that, and Bloodsport's like, "Do you see who that is? That's your mother!" And then yeah. Taro <laughs> becomes Polka Dot Man's mother, and he just gets so pissed and shoots. I, I he shoots off Starro's leg, and it grows back, if I recall correctly. It, so. uh, it maybe it did, or maybe I don't know, maybe not. But, but then yeah, uh, like... Starro just gets some revenge. Who what, Mal? Starro gets revenge and kills Polka Dot Man. Yeah, I just him. but I, I absolutely love though. It's like we finally see his scene from the trailer where he's like, "I'm a superhero," and like. Literally two seconds later, he's just crushed to death. Like, mm -hmm. perfect. Perfect. And then there were then a lot the of end, perfect like, moments of death. Then the end, it's Sorry. like, like just shreds of his costume are left, but it's like the body's probably just squished to fucking hell. Yeah. It'd be interesting if they somehow brought him back out of just pure plot bullshit. Yeah. Um, that would be funny. But yeah, then it's like, um, you know, they're just trying to do damage to this thing. Bloodsport runs out of bullets and shit, and then Ratcatcher like comes out of nowhere with her her magic rat wand and like summons all the rats on the fucking island to attack this thing. And it's just like, it's just so funny because like you did not, ex I did not expect her to be of any use at all, and like she's like. The like the heaviest header in this movie towards mm. Star that is, and I'm just like and I'm also thinking our... like there's no way there's that many fucking exactly. rats on this island. Like this, this, this not... must be this genuinely must be a third world country if there's this many rats. Well, that's that was the idea though, I'm pretty well, yeah, much. But it's I don't know just like how that many rats. Just showed yeah, up. it's like. It's like she must have opened a portal, like gotten like half the rats in New York to show up to. <laughs> it's just like uh, end end game, but with rats. Yeah, that's what's no. Oh, someone's gonna make that edit. Just replace the music with the the portals music, and lead it, and all the fucking rats. <laughs> yes, I might do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be fucking great. Uh damn. Wait. And then Hartley with the jab. Yes. The javelin yeah, like fucking, trying to find the purpose for It's like a quick time event whole thing. Like she's running along this path and just jumps into the pierces like right through its eye and then rats just run in after her and just start like, like on the blood vessels and all that. Yeah, and she's just like happily floating in like I don't know eye goo or something. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. And she smiles. So <laughs> yeah. disgusting. Yeah, and then finally it's defeated. Like, and then I love the shot of her like climbing out after, and she just gives a thumbs up, drenched in mm -hmm. fucking eye juice. I don't know what else to <laughs> fucking call it. Uh, Pretty much it is. But yeah, on a on a nitpicking note, I'm just like, where the fuck is the Justice League? <laughs> There's a fucking giant s space uh, starfish. That possesses people. Why are you not? Why is Superman at, not, at least not showing up? Like he could just come in, grab Star, and throw it into the fucking sun, and call it a fucking day. Like, I wish like you could at least have explanations of that. Like, like oh, he he's fighting Metallo today or something. That was more important or some bullshit. It wouldn't be, but you know, it, it would be like. If you were to apply that with like the Marvel movies, it's like, why doesn't Captain Marvel just show up every time and like? Just... Yeah, it's fair. That's fair enough. You know what like... was happening? You know what? I guarantee it. What was happening in that is like, I would assume it's after Justice League, which you know I know Warner Brothers is like, oh, we're going with the original one. The Snyder Cut is non not canon, but fuck that. Um, I'm going to assume. Shazam happens after Justice League, so you know what was going on? Superman was in the post credit scene, you know, uh, was Shazam having lunch at his school while that shit was going down? He just didn't give two shits. You know, just and probably, you know, probably heard it, probably, like, used his x-ray vision, looked across the planet, and like, yeah, they got this. Fuck it. 
I ain't touching that shit. <laughs> it's it's probably one of those things. Yeah, it's like yeah, they're handling it. So unless unless they're all unless they all die, they don't need me. Yeah. What a dick. Superman's a dick. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh. So some some closing notes would be. What are your favorite characters from the movie? Which one stuck out, stuck out the most for you? I mean, Bloodsport, I, Bloodsport no, was probably ahead. my favorite character. He, yeah, he, I don't know, just he's kind of like the reluctant hero. Like the beginning, he's like, "Fuck you, fuck mm -hmm. y'all, fuck this place, fuck my daughter," sort of thing. Yeah, he kind of has a dad vibe to him that develops throughout the movie, yeah. which is mm -hmm. nice. He became oh. basically becomes like the uh, surrogate father figure for uh, Ratcatcher too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which yeah, it's I like would have to say. Oh, sorry. Continue. Uh, I was just gonna say. Then, like by the end, it's like the daughter. She doesn't really hate him. She's just like probably upset with him. But then by the end, when she sees when she sees her dad on the news, like he saved an entire fucking island, and she's like she's actually proud of him. Mm -hmm. uh, an island and all by extension the planet because yeah yeah um, um so heroic is who are your favorites well i think it's pretty fucking obvious um, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, harley was pretty cool but like you know to pick an to pick another one um i did enjoy even though peacemaker was you know a dick like he he was funny he's like Another Guardians of the Galaxy comparison, he's kind of the Drax of this movie, if Drax was, you know, also evil. Um, and who For else? Me. There's another one. Um, oh, yeah. For I'm me, not... I would have to say Bloodsport and Ratcatcher 2. I, I just loved the dynamic between them, and just Idris Alba is a badass. I just realized that was him. I forgot that. It's, he looks so much different than he did as uh, um, Heimdall in the MCU. Like here, he's like he's a little uh, huskier, I guess. Yeah. Oh, damn! I I, love, I don't know I love how the it. fuck I missed that. Well, I didn't miss it. I just forgot it like already, even though it's, I've only watched it like mm -hmm. two days ago. Um, I need to rewatch it because there's some stuff I'm forgetting. Yeah. It's worth it, though. It's it's worth a rewatch, in my opinion. Oh, for sure. Um, but yeah, even still, like, I still like pretty much the entire team. Ex with the exception yeah. of uh, uh, Savant at the beginning. Like, like on a, that's not even a really fair thing to say, because like, you don't see anything of him. He's like, he's the introduction, but like, you, you don't get to see him in action, really. Along with all the others that just get mowed down right away. So, oh well. Like, it's, it's basically like whenever James Gunn makes a movie, like, him and Michael Rooker, the actor, are really good friends. So it's like, he's got to have a an appearance anytime James Gunn makes a movie. So that, that just kind of felt like yeah. his, little, his little character to play, so to speak. I see, yeah, that happens a lot. Like, for example, I know another one was um, in a lot of movies where Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it, they also had Bill Paxton. Like, he was in Terminator. Uh, he was in Commando. And there were some others as well. Like, he was, like, a uh, Tim, background character. Tim Burton does a similar thing where he cast Johnny Depp in a lot of stuff. And then... Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's... It's a very common thing. Tarantino does it with Samuel L. Jackson. Hmm. Yeah. So, anything else to add, or do you think that's going to be uh, it? I think that might be it. Honestly, but we could wrap up and give our final thoughts. Hmm. Sure. Final thoughts. Sounds good. Like, what we thought of the movie overall. Okay, who wants to go first? Not me. I I... All right. Madam, you go first. All right. For me, I thought that it was a incredibly fun experience. It was zany. And if you're going in for like a gritty 
superhero movie, you're looking in the wrong place. This is more of a dark comedy with serious elements. But it's worth the watch. James Gunn has a fantastic playlist for all of his movies, really. He just, he knows how to pick good music for his scenes and just writes really fun, zany characters. If you want to have something like that, go watch it. Bring some friends, snort some coke, do whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I Six. agree with the, um, the, yeah, if you want a dark and gritty and broody movie, like, look the other way. Uh, you want that, you know, go watch Batman v Superman if you you know, want to torture yourself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, pretty much I yeah. agree with your points. I don't, I don't think I have much else to add there. It was a fun movie. A lot better than the first one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, just, uh, it, yeah, like I said, it was basically given the Guardians of the Galaxy treatment. So, like, yeah, exactly what you said. Just some serious moments, but also some really funny moments. Mm -hmm. Subversion of expectations or just stupid little rivalries between characters. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminded me of, uh, what was it, an endgame? Like between Thor and Star Lord. Yeah. Stuff like, well, not a James Gunn movie, but like same characters that he introduced, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I get what you mean. All right. Um, so. You want to do an outro? Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to our first episode. We don't really have a full-on upload schedule, but ideally we'll get like one of these out per month. So keep an eye out for that. We don't yet know what our second topic will be, but, you know, we'll we'll figure it out. We're just gonna we love you. As we go along, yeah, and we love crack cocaine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Smoke crack whenever you can. Yep. And uh, that, that's, well, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. See ya.